Hi, I'm Stuart. Now what I want to tell you about is the Speed Twin. This is one of our, one of our most successful modern classics. We launched the bike about a year ago. Um, we wanted to offer the performance of the Thruxton, but with a more upright riding position and even more agility. Now the Speed Twin name is an iconic Triumph name um, and you might not know the history and I wanted to share that with you. So if you follow me, we'll go and have a look at one of the displays. Okay, well, you can see we're a bit busy in here. Uh, during the lockdown, we're using this space to store a lot of bikes that will be other places around the business. So we've got a 1950, um, a priceless 1950 Grand Prix bike, absolutely beautiful. Um, we've got a couple of Triumph Factory Customs. We've got a Thruxton and a Rocket, again, beautiful. This one here is interesting. This is David Beckham's Amazon Adventure Scrambler. Uh, this, was a, this was a really good bit of fun and made a great television program. I think they, uh, they enjoyed the ride in there. Um, the end here, we've got our previous generation rocket. This one was modified by Carpenter Racing uh, for drag racing. Uh, very potent performance. Just shows what you can do with one of these motors. Anyway, this isn't what I wanted to show you. I wanted to introduce you to a gentleman down here uh, as part of this display. Now, this is Edward Turner. The Speed Twin was his baby, okay? He was brought in to Triumph by Jack Sangster um, in the mid 30s uh, to design motorbikes. He was a very successful designer already at Ariel and he came to become a very successful designer at Triumph and managing director. So he was uh, a major part of Triumph for many, many years. Anyway, let's show you the Speed Twin uh, that started uh, the name. So this is a really beautiful motorcycle. Um, this is a 1937 uh, motorcycle that was designed as a complete motorbike. The heart of it is this engine. This is the first successful parallel twin, a vertical parallel twin engine. Uh, this was mass produced. This brought performance to people who wouldn't have been able to afford this level of performance before. This was in an era where most bikes were singles, uh, twin single cylinder bikes that were available were very, very expensive and out of the reach of, of most people. But this really did democratize performance and became a bike that people could really enjoy riding. The bike really took off after the war and uh, sold really well in the States as well. So this engine format went from the original 500cc through 650, 750. It, it continued for a long time um, and we use the same basic layout now with our modern classics. We use a vertical parallel twin engine which is masses of character, sounds glorious, um, is simple, it's accessible, we can build a bike that's um, affordable and fun to ride. So the same ethos that this original speed twin was conceived with which was a complete motorcycle, accessible and fun to ride with great performance, is exactly what we've done with our current Speed Twin. So, full circle. So that's a small insight into the Speed Twin story. We've much more to share both here at the factory and on our website. Watch out for more films. We'll continue filming today, see what we can bring you. And thank you for watching, be safe. <laughs>